Hello and welcome to episode 2 of my This is to War campaign with Sweden in Empire Total War Darth Mod. Previous episode we pushed back a small stack of Russian forces over at Ingria and we also pushed back the Danish admiral attacking our admiral Emanuel Jonasen south of Sweden and an overall kind of just got ourselves started in the campaign with one of the first goals taking out Corland. So we pushed one army back. So now we are be besieging Yelagawa and we are going to attack them and see if we could destroy them. Hello and welcome to the battlefield. Let's just end the deployment phase and yeah, reinforcement stats. Carl Gustav Rinhull, I think. Let's try to have a look on how they set up. They are mostly standing over here. Militia over here. Regiment of foot. So, let's move our forces a bit forward. And let's get you something like... Not too close though. We want to move our artillery in first. Over here you should have a decent opportunity to strike. But we do want to be able to reach them. So if well, somewhere along these lines maybe. And the other ones just form up. You can just stay close here. I'm thinking about maybe moving the pikesmen over to the right hand side. Looks like they are grouping in over here. Might actually do that. Move you over to this side instead. And our cav units stay close by. First of all, we want to use our artillery to soften them up. And then we'll be looking to kind of use our militia or because they are expandable. Expandable, is that even the right word? Expendable. I don't care if they die. So I will most likely disband every one of them. I think they're... Yeah, they're horse shit to be honest. But the rest of them I want to keep as good as possible and... Hopefully we can get them a get a bit of experience with them. Let's move you even here closer to this should give you an okay angle depending on how they move. Of course. I think it's time to ungroup you. Are they trying to outflank us? I don't know. But let's get you... That's you. Let's get you three on this side right here. God damn it. No. Let's keep you here. And you start moving somewhere along the lines like that and judging by how they move i don't quite trust them where are the pikemen yeah they're in pike formation Whoop. look at that pike formation that looks very nice can't be standing in pike formation now though but i will keep you over to the right hand side here so yeah, we'll continue to go kind of slow. Is this a good angle enough? I even want to have you over here. Yes, I want you over here. No worries, we'll adjust. Something like that. We don't mind dragging all of the rest of them out. There you are. I 
do it as quick as you can, please. So yes, uh, and the game is overall more slow-paced. Very big difference from the newer titles like Troy, for example. That is incredibly high-pass games. This is a totally different deal. But I kind of enjoy the slow pace. Feel like it's quite nice. Don't fire at will, though. How far is your reach? All the way over here. Do we get a good, nice fire on those guys? Even maybe see some kills. Here we go. Wow, oh, look at that. That was a really nice hit. Really, really nice hit. Regiment of Foot Militia. Can you fire down on them? There's the general's bodyguard. 14 out of 14. Here we go again. Nice hits. Very nice hits. We're already decimating them. You are still standing up though. Yeah, we'll let him fire away a bit. This looks like... We're just standing here. I think we should probably target him. Or no, let's target the right at the center here. So we break the center. I think we could adjust our lines a bit now. So you, could you move all the way over here later on? Yes, you can. And so I kind of can adjust you a tiny bit like... I don't want to get too close though. Do something like that. Just drag you out a long, nice fire line. And you go over to the side. Generals. And you guys over here. Two sixty nine, three fifty eight. Screenshot. Couple of hits. So we might as well fast forward until we get into position. Yeah, they're falling on the lines right there. This is a weak side, obviously. Hopefully our our pikemen can make up for it though. Keep killing away. We've decimated them by a by one fourth. They are full strength though. All these guys ex basically probably should soften up the right, so they are moving. Where the hell? All right, then that's fine. And you can stand like that, no issue. We don't want you to get fired at. We should probably make a long, nice fire line with you. Honestly, even run. Stretch out a tiny bit more. Here we go. Might need the support of the generals right here. 
And you know what? You'll go in and charge him. Try not to get our general kill. You get over here quickly as possible. Please, thank you. And you charge. Now we're going on the offensive. Shit, he's actually waving a bit. You know what? Sacrifice yourself just to disrupt, disrupt their fire a bit. And you charge on in. Oh, we killed our own guys right there. Got them, stop firing. And charge. They are dead. Keep our general out of harm's way. We're sacrificing our... Keep charge charging them. And now it's time to charge. They are shattered, so that's good. And continue over here. No. And you... Over here, over here, down here, please. No, actually, you could take kill them. You continue here, or not. Now we trying to get full out attack mode. No, god damn, you are going to charge them. Need to move. Move on in. Come on now, guys. It's a tiny bit tricky to see here in the woods. And they are shattered, so that's very nice. Attack in on them. So, they are being charged down, so time to charge in with the cab as well. Here we go, sandwich those motherfuckers. Enemy general killed, good. Sorry about that. Here we go. And you can still take care of them. Oh yeah, that should be it. We actually have one, two over here. Alright, that's sloppy of me. You know what? And you should definitely get over here somewhere. Yeah, they are shattered. Which ones are... They are shattered. Alright, we need to gather ourselves up a bit here now. Mm, 
you attack from this side right here and the pikemen accompany the main force shattered shattered and shattered yeah you get some experience So yeah, I think I mentioned it at some point in the previous episode, but the pikemen were very much an integrated part of the Swedish forces. So that's kind of a rule I have for myself as well. We need to have at least one pike unit in every stack. That's the ambition either. If we succeed with that, that's that's a different thing though but we hope so uh yeah we should definitely we could get him close with fast forward we could definitely move yeah i'm not entirely friends with the maneuvering system as it differs quite a lot. Yeah, very good. And you move on over. You have killed him. You could also stay just kind of close by. Form a nice firing line like that. Could actually move you even further to this side. Is that even a bit too close, maybe? We not need to get over that hill. Well, okay, so they are moving. I want my Regiment of foot, you need to run. Or regiment of horse. Yeah, if you should... We've got one chevron on the on them right right so they're getting shots fired everyone shots fired where's the cab there you are he's concerned even get in from behind and you can start on limber maybe you can get one or two shots off just love this smoke Taken. Or no, just oh, okay. Let's get you one shot fired at least. Here we are. Get you back. Yeah, a couple of kills. That has to be enough. And yeah, just charge them in. They're broken. Now we charge. Charge. So 
in time I will speak a bit more about the Carolean tactic. But in short, in order to make up for the numbers, they made it up. Uh, they used offense to break the enemy morale quickly. That should be it, right? Or have we missed anyone? Anyone else? Yeah, that's, they're, they're, they're only wavering, so they are not. There we go. We can just end the battle. Here. Very nice. We took out all of them, of course, as as it's yeah, their militia citizenry, and we lost eight hundred. So I guess that's acceptable. And nation destroyed Coralan, the first of many, hopefully. So let's look. What do we have here? The repair cost for that 520. Kind of need to do that. You know, it hurts a bit. Yeah, it does. Let's do that for now. And now we are. We at least merge a couple of them. And keep one of the militia here, I guess. Can't really afford to leave anything else behind. Well, let's just leave him. And get you... You can stay there for this turn, I guess. And we have Rienschuld. I want you over here at Ingria. And I want Levenhaupt over here. And I want our Armfeld over here, because I want him to be the one who takes Norway, or at least, or maybe even the whole of Denmark. And Levenhaupt was actually stationed around here, and defended Coraland numerous times. But anyway, so, what could we do? This force has to be enough for now. And we are leaving the one general here. We are leaving the line infantry as well. The rest of it we are taking with us. We can't move this turn either way. So let's leave them there for now. Could we even... What do, would it cost us to... No, just we'll just have to do. Well, let's end the turn. Alliance broken France, Spain, Alliance broken Prussia and Poland, Lithuania. Yeah, very nice. So, let's continue with not the carbines, continue with the ring bayonets. Smallpox in inoculation. Too bad. Another nation destroyed, Saxony. That was kind of expected. And construction reports. So several buildings constructed, which is shown by our income, I guess. And unit recruited fifth rate Baltic Sea. Very nice. Well, let's strengthen up. Hmm. Can't really reach them. He could go kill them though. Let's do that. And the result. Are oh, you kidding me? We lost two. So they got into our fleet. We don't want to take that. Let's retreat instead. But it was only one ship, right? Yeah, let's take care of that then. Because I guess they are going to recruit. And where did you flee? Alright. So we are have the road open for... But I think the... Anyway, let's start moving them. So... We want to lead, have everyone but you and you. Or maybe one of those pikemen would be the ones left behind. Now we have we have three line three 
another three in line infantry units right here. So let's get on the ship. And let's disembark him here. Aye, aye, Captain. And you get over here. There we have it. We have another ship right here. We should. Yeah, we get one fifth rate here next turn. And that's all we get, right? Leapaya Coraland. This should be. Could build something there, but I want to have a look around first. Yeah, one and the research trait gained. That's good. And silver gained plus one happiness nobility. That's welcome. And plus one command at sea with attacking. That's also well, that is also welcome. And you and now we have something here that looks quite nice actually. And We'll march you as you are. The thing is, should we go for this one first? I think so. Are uh, this one strong enough? I would want one more cab. But let's go ahead and recruit one more cab. And let's recruit... Maybe Nerke Vermland. 12-8. Mm. Give a bit more accuracy. A bit more expensive though. Are they hiring upkeep? Yeah, just a tiny bit. So let's use one of them. So we have these two units here alongside the garrison. And we need to be a bit stronger here. Living out and Reinhold. As I said, I want you over here and I want Levenhaupt on this side right here. So Levenhaupt, start making your way down. We need maybe one more line infantry here. That's all our... That's all our money. We want to keep them absolutely could actually replenish them and that would be worth it I think so we do replenish something at least our priest should we move you no I want when he we are at 40% I think are the Russians looking here then they're not nothing too concerning just yet we definitely need to keep an eye out for what's happening here but most likely the first stack will come from Petrovoskaya, Sloboda Karelia. At least I think so. So let's end another turn. Yeah, Poland, Lithuania besieging Galagava. We'll have to see how strong they are. Russians on the move. Yes, so let's see what do we have here. Three units of militia. Yeah, we got the Provincial Line Infantry. There's the Ordinary Line Infantry. Uh, so I don't see why we shouldn't attack that, just to get rid of them, I guess. Otherwise, they are just going to besiege us. Let's see, how how is the odds looking? Yeah, let's jump into it and take care of it. So yeah, this is pretty straightforward. We need to make sure that we have we are outgunning their units that's that's about it we have a small high ground here could possibly take advantage of that is it looking like they are attacking us no it's not These are ordinary militia. We can actually run, guys. 
Or if we perform this not too sloppy, this shouldn't be a problem, but at the same time it's the very high difficulty, so... I definitely want to try to take them on the side right here. We go by the long road. Actually, run a bit. This should adjust. And yeah, here we go. Eager, confident, winded. Don't want you winded. March a bit more up here first. And you are the one who's going to swing around, I think. You march, and you guys stand like... Uh, yes. Something like that. I want to tweak you a bit further. Long, nice lines. And you're going to try to catch them on their side, so try to outflank them. Here we go. And the last few yards now. I'm going to start getting the first shots off. Winning slightly. Now I want you to run. I don't want to disrupt our own lines. So here we have it right. There. Go, 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 go. I'm just kind of of the is in the essence here. Losing slightly. Concerned and under small arms fire. And we should adjust your line a tiny bit like that. Now they should be shaken, and they are. Angle, but we can see a couple of them falling. Actually, advance. Same goes with you. Yep, for fuck's sake. Give me a good volley here, man. There we go. Yes, wavering. Go, 
We're losing men as well. They are steady. Getting kind of a nice crossfire. All Lithuania down to 200. And charge. Probably plugged by net. Now we are charging down on them. Plug way not charge. Charge men. They are shattered. Charge on in. Use the plug bayonets to your advantage. Take them down. Encourage charging. Third casualty sustained. You three should be able to take him down. Yes, he's wavering. And he's steady. Enemy general killed. And there we have it. So continue to take them down. We'll continue to chase them. So we lost 290 fine men. They lost almost 900, so I'm pleased with that. We get them to retreat. And yeah. Definitely want to replenish these guys, I think. Don't want to use all our money on replenishing either. He's replenishing. Let's so ourselves one of those we have two ordinary line infantry and one pikeman and the two cav we have Reinhold reinforcing and you to just stand there I guess in the meantime hmm. so yeah they're also a bit battered no replenish required. No, no, no. They do require replenishment though. Who do we settle with one? I think that should be enough for now. I think so. 39%. This is what they are going to be attacking with. If these guys accompany them as well, that's another four units. Yeah, that should be fine. Should be fine, considering we have the garrison as well. So that is absolutely fine. And so, yeah, we have that one. Enemy radio, construction report, the Algaba. That's that one. Probably should go take care of that once more. And then kind of spread out. Let's have you accompany him. The two of you and you as well. Go and take that out. So yeah, we accept that. And now you No. You need to be accompanied by those two, I think. Honestly, just have you blockading that. They will get an army over there and you will blockade that. And you will keep them from marching ashore. ashore. They will recruit, they might recruit there as well. We should maybe 
This is going to trigger maybe United Provinces, but and Great Britain. So yeah, well, if they when they if they show up, which I they most likely will, we will just straight up get away. And so that should solve the. That should solve it, I think. And you march for Christiania. It will take you two turns to get there. But you are going to get there. And city besiege, yeah, yeah, yeah. And we got the infantry here at Ingria. Should we even bother upgrading this now because this is a high risk settlement and it, it's not that bad if we pair cost 30 sure it's not that bad if we lose this one the, the main thing was getting rid of that one of those minor factions while we upgrade the other stuffs yeah now we have a, our second school in Karlstad well, let's also have in Karlstad we want to research common land enclosures that's what we want maybe this one 2000 yeah let's go for that one the infrastructure we can't afford can't even afford them those basic roads But let's settle with that. We are upgrading something at least. And let's actually replenish you guys as well. That's all our money right there. So yeah, let's end the turn. Building constructed opera house. Very nice. That gives us a bit of wealth generated per turn. Unit recruited and ancillary gain to repair to, to repression across the theater. That's good. Ace entry destroyed Westphalia. Anyway, I think this has to be it for this episode. So I guess we'll pick things up from here next time and see if we could get to Denmark then. If you enjoyed the episode, please leave that like. And if you haven't done that already, please subscribe as well to support my channel. Everyone, until the next one, have a good one.